Well, you know, China has been doing a great job in poverty reduction since the 1990s, and this is just a continuation of the process. However, poverty reduction in China is getting harder over time because the, the poverty that they're trying to uh, eliminate now is much more entrenched, and it's in much harder to reach areas. So what needs to be done? So for rural poverty, one of the things that they're concentrating on is talking about uh, land security and land reforms that give farmers more um, security about their land. And also, as China urbanizes, because China is urbanizing really quickly, they also have to make um, new types of policies for those urbanizing farmers. So it's partly about providing a new social security uh, safety net for people who are moving from rural areas uh, out of agriculture into urban areas and into new types of professions and jobs. And that's a very big transition for China to do. So the poverty reduction that they're going to be doing over the next couple of decades has much more to do with very fundamental reforms to the social, social security system and the land system. Uh, very ambitious targets uh, in this CBC, but also previously delivering hundreds of millions, as you know, out of poverty. Is this achievable? So far, China has uh, brought something like 400 to 600 million people out of poverty. Uh, the poverty that they've reduced has been very, very significant, and it really, uh, China really stands out in comparison to many other developing countries in terms of their poverty reduction. Now what they're looking at is targeting uh, rural areas, often very out-of-the-way places, to uh, reduce poverty there. Uh, their minority uh, uh, minority peoples in China are very overrepresented in poverty, so this is another thing that they really are looking at um, to target. China's uh, poverty is only about 3 percent in urban areas, but that masks a lot of this issue of people who are moving from rural areas to urban areas, and those people, because they don't have the legal status of residency in cities, often also really struggle with poverty. So that's another area that they're looking to target, which is this um, migrant population that is moving from rural areas into urban areas. They're working in cities, they're bringing their kids into their cities, but they don't have the same access to social security and to social welfare that uh, regular urban residents have. Also, there's a digital revolution going on in, in most Chinese cities, but also it's extending to the countryside. That can help in some ways, can't it? Uh, link rural agricultural workers with their, the markets they're trying to sell to. Right. So this is another thing that China really stands out in, in terms of internet penetration. China's a very, very large country. It's got a huge population. A lot of the population still does live in rural areas, but the use of the internet has rapidly expanded in China, mainly through cell phone use, through smartphones, and that also is giving uh, farmers more access to information. It's giving them uh, communities that they can discuss policies with, they can buy weather insurance. So this kind of technological revolution will also really help um, eradicating this rural poverty. Mary Gallagher, Director of Chinese Studies at Michigan University, thank you so much. Thank you.